Hi hey everybody, uh, sorry about the pause screen, I was trying to beat my countdown thing, um, when I started recording, but, whatever. Cause yeah, my screen recorder does a five-ish second countdown, assuming it doesn't slow down at all. Um, today we have the option of doing two different galaxies, I will choose to do this one first because it goes absolutely nowhere and is completely useless, and once again we are all alone. Because... Christian is still at some tennis tournament thing, and Captain Pisswick is still in Hawaii. I talked to him today, though. He was at the Apple Store, because that is the only place in which he can access the internet, so he goes there every day. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so... He doesn't stay for long, though, and I usually only get to have, like, ten minutes-ish conversations with him, and if I do remember correctly, you can do that, yeah. And then you just get a bunch of star bits. At first, I was trying to do that jump from, like, the platform just below that, when I, like, played this game the first time, and it, that, I did get the jump eventually, but it was, like, impossible. And so I was thinking that, why am I trying to collect these with this? But yeah, I was thinking that it would just, what the heck, jump. I was thinking, and I lost my train of thought. Yeah, I was thinking that there would be... I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking. Uh, apparently I'm not thinking about what I'm trying to say. But yes, I thought there would have been some kind of amazing secret up there, but no. Uh, yeah, I just feel like getting the secret star first for this one. Um. Uh-huh. Thanks, I hadn't guessed. And basically, there's, like, nothing in the other boxes, so I'm just gonna get that coin and go in here. And then we have one of these. Oh, man. Yes, I have tried one... What the heck? Oh, my God. Why am I surprised by that? Um, but, yeah, one time I tried to, like, burn all the boxes before I talked to the person, or the Gearmo, but they, they do come back, so, yeah. And then the trick for this, you don't do it from the middle. You do it from right here, and then you can get them all in, like, ten seconds. Yeah. Well, not ten seconds, but it's pretty close. And you can, like, make a whole bunch of mistakes and still get it. Because if you do it from the middle, it takes, like, a whole bunch of time, and you feel all rushed. But when you do it like that, it's just, like, the easiest thing in the universe. And such. But man, the ones in Galaxy, like the first game, because that wasn't totally obvious, um, where you have to uh, throw the bombs at the garbage. I just found those impossible. I don't know why. Maybe there's some way you can like detonate the bombs before they go or before they like automatically go off. But I can't seem to figure out how to do that. I'm sure it's like painfully obvious. I was never good at that at the, that one. Why? Eh, whatever. Yeah, I stopped playing at Dreadnought because of that. Um, anyway. Now for the real star. And that took a whole three minutes. Wow. But yeah, I was thinking about that, um... Hub map Mario head thing. And it's really not as good as the other hub maps in the series. Like, I mean... Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine had really good ones where you just, like, go around two different places from one place. But then in Galaxy, they kind of had that, but it was a little bit different. And it, it was cool, but it, it didn't really fit for me. And then this one, you just have, like, one area to go from, and that fat idiot who's really annoying. I don't know. Just bothers me for some reason. Whatever. Um, yeah, oh wow, I didn't realize I could do that without, like, doing that. Neat. I'm not going to kill him. Well, this is necessary, and I totally just missed that platform. Yes. Okay, good, now I don't have to go and wait. But then I fall. Almost. I do enjoy star bits, though, and as such, I will collect them. And almost get hit by that Goomba. And I can't get those ones. Oh, there we go. 
Wow, that was just... Oh, and I keep... I've never gotten up there to that question block. I'm sure it was painfully obvious to see, but yeah, you have to have, like, lightning reflexes to get there, or, like, remember it was there and come back into the level. Which I'm obviously not gonna do. I mean, Jesus. What do you expect from me? Alright, so... And then back jump over that guy. Then do this, and kill him. Man, that spike goes, like, into the ground. That'd be pretty inconvenient. I would think, anyway. Okay, cool. Man, that's... yeah. I always think that those boxes are gonna be something better, and then they never are. Um... oh god. Why did... oh god. I'm sorry, that was pathetic. Let's just wait right here, so I don't die again. Oh god. Why am I, like, scared of everything in this game? And then there's a whole bunch of star bits over here. I believe you can get a couple more if you go up, yep. That's just kind of a neat little extra. And then I can crash into the frick god Jesus. I can crash into the frick god Jesus. Eh. Whatever. And then the comet coin is totally not painfully obvious. Never would have seen that. Yes, I know they're comet metals, but I prefer to call them comet coins. Just like I call dragon coins Yoshi coins in Super Mario World. Who doesn't call them that, though? I mean, honestly. Alright, these are the only burnable boxes which are partially composed of metal, which doesn't burn. Oh, gotta love this. Um, yeah. Then we go up again, and then we go... What the hell? Right. I forgot the gravity switch. Because I'm smart. And then we do the same thing again. Gotta love repetitive level design. And then something completely different. Green means down, apparently. And pretty good on time. Oh, come on. Yeah, you can't do that while Fire Mario. Oh, God. Okay, that was a close one. Gonna omit. Gonna omit. I will omit the fact that that was very close. I believe there's a secret on top of these swamps. No. Nope. It's these ones, but I will have to hide under them for a sec. In my little nook. In my special corner. Yeah, if you stand on here, you get a whole buttload of star bits. And then there's even more if you uh, jump over here. But it's only like a couple. And Toad is there. I do see them. Thank you, Toad. Or, yeah, see them there right after you. Okay, can I get... Oh, come on. I can never get that. Anyway, star... Uh, 8.30. I guess I can... Yeah. I'll start the cloud level. I guess. Woo. Okay, um... Yeah, as I was saying. Lame hub place with very, very, very screwy gravity. I'm sorry, it's just very, very awkward. I will say very a lot to emphasize my point. Alright, Fluffy Bluff. It's this place. That's how I've always known it. I never liked this level. There's too many obscure objectives. What? Oh god. Uh, so much for actually maybe getting progress done, or progressing, I guess, in this level. And please don't bark, dog. I would hate you forever. Alright, because, yeah, he growled and I heard it, and I'm not sure if it was audible here. Speaking of which, or speaking of audibility, there is a very, very loud bass noise coming from the TV upstairs. And I'm not 100% sure whether or not uh, audible here. 
Anyway, this one. They always give these, like, sky-themed levels the so-called epic music. Um, for some reason, I don't know. I don't know why they emphasize the sky levels in a space game. It's kind of weird to me, and I'm almost out of time. Well, next time, I won't be getting the secret level. Well, I won't be getting the secret level first in this one, because it's painful and you have to get 100 coins. Oh, joy. Um, but, yeah, I'll just continue until I'm about at 10 minutes, 50 seconds, and then I'll stop. 10.40 now. 10.45. 10.48. yes. 50, okay, I'll jump up here and then stop. Bye, everybody.